The three most uh, common types of BJT configuration are the common base, common emitter, and the common collector. Each of these configurations has its own characteristics, advantages, and disadvantages. And that is the content of this video. So let's start with the common base configuration. As you can see on the diagram on the screen, uh, the base is connected in between, uh, uh, in between the emitter and the collector. So when we say common base, that only means that the base is not used either an input or an output terminal. For this uh, configuration, the input here is the emitter while the output is at the C. But it depends on the type of type of BJT used. Uh, when we have PNP, then the output is on the C while the input is on the E. Uh, if we have an NPN, the input is on the C or the collector and the output is on the E. That depends on the direction of the current this is the um, characteristic curve of a common base um, amplifier. It shows here the relationship between the input current IE and the output VCB. Take note that we have a voltage here that is the VBE. VBE is the voltage drop across the base and the emitter junction. So this is the base and this is the emitter. So if we are going to do a KVL across this part right here, then we are crossing the base to emitter junction. And base to emitter junction is somewhat like a diode because they are uh, made up of two materials. One is an N and the other one is a P-type material. So basically, it's a diode. So whenever we cross this BE junction, we will um, assume a voltage drop across it of 0.7 volts. So this is just um, uh, for the purpose of the topic and discussion, we will assume the value of VBE as 0.7. And that is very evident on the characteristic curve. As you can see, at 0.7, the output current, IE, is raising at an exponential level or at an exponential growth. So there are, there's still no current output, IE, whenever the voltage across the VBE is less than the 0.7. So it started to conduct at 0.5 but it is not enough as an output because that is just a very small amount of IE. So we have a substan substantial amount of IE at the 0.7 level of VBE. So let me give you an example here. For example, we are um, using this circuit right here and we have an input voltage plus minus here and then we have uh, we are taking the output on the emitter level so whenever we have a large voltage input here then if we do a KVL across the resistor B and the BE junction down to the ground then the current VBE will be um, substantially high because of the voltage input that is also um, high enough. Then the more current on the IB means that there is more current on the output IE because IE is equivalent to IB plus IC. And uh, it's not only because of the large amount of IB, uh, it is also because of the IC. Since the voltage source or the voltage input is large enough, then the current here will be uh, also high because of the ohms 
law um, voltage is equal to i r or i is equal to voltage over over r so the larger the voltage uh, source or the voltage input the higher the current we can generate on the collector and therefore we have a higher uh, output value of ie on the output side of the bjt so moving on uh, this is the uh, output characteristics of a common base amplifier take note that there are three regions being considered here one here is the cutoff region the cutoff means that the transistor is off or it is not functioning why is it not functioning because there is no current i uh, there is no uh, input current into it and that is why it is off it is basically off the other region we have to consider is the saturation region saturation means that the transistor is on and there is a large uh, amount of current drawn in the output side of the transistor though um, it has a very large current it um, substantially doesn't have a large amount of voltage that we can measure the next part is the active region this is where the operate operation region operating region of an amplifier so whenever we have an input um, we have an input to the transistor then uh, it has a corresponding output based on the input so um, the more um, current i.e. we um, input into the common base amplifier then uh, the more VCB we can get so uh, this is these are the uh, definitions of the operating regions we have the active uh, cutoff and we have the satur saturation so saturation means that uh, the out Output is containing a lot of charge carrier and thus it produces a large amount of current so how are we going to achieve these uh, three operating regions and these are the biasing that we need to to achieve before we can get the three operating regions if we want uh, to achieve the active region or active region of the transistor operation then the be junction should be in forward while the base collector junction is in reverse um, as you would remember from the previous video lecture about the introduction of the bjt this is the basic operating conditions or operate uh, biasing condition of the transistor before we can use it and one of the application of the transistor is an amplifier so um, recalling we need to put one junction in forward and the other one in reverse and that is the active region for saturation uh, we need to connect the BE and the BC junction in forward bias and that will give us the saturation region and that is uh, mainly used in switching that is um, comparable to the digital output of zero and one when we have saturation region then the output on the output current or the output on the transistor is basically one so that is saturated or it is full of charge carriers and will produce a large amount of current then we will achieve the cutoff region whenever the BE junction is in reverse so the most common uh, configuration of it is that um, the base junction is the input of the of the transistor whenever we are using it as a amplifier as I have discussed on the previous video um, when we are using it as an amplifier we only need to input a very small amount of current 
and usually it is on the base because the base is the thinnest part of the BJT construction. And then we take the output either on the emitter or the collector. So let's just uh, take the output on the collector node. So that's VO and it has a corresponding output of I, IO. So whenever this uh, BE junction is in reverse, then we can have a base current. If we don't have a base current, then automatically this BE junction is cut off and therefore no current from the voltage source from the collector will travel from the collector side down to the ground across the BC across the CE junction. So in summary uh, IB will determine whenever uh, will determine if the transistor will be in cutoff or will be in saturation mode. So it says here on the summary table that whenever we put the BE junction in reverse, then automatically we will get a cutoff region. And same with the saturation region, it is commonly used in switching applications. So it is uh, synonymous to the output zero of a digital circuit. So this is output one or high and output zero or low. We have here the alpha or the common base short circuit amplification factor and it is equivalent to the ratio of IC to IE. So this is the equation for the alpha and ideally it is equal to 1, but it is very small. Alpha is somewhere between 0.9 to 0.998. And that is uh, obvious because some of the books, some of the references, and some of the solutions to BJT circuit applications uh, usually approximates IC with IE. From this equation that IE is equivalent to IB plus IC and since IB is in terms of microamperes and that it and considered to be very small then uh, some of the books and some of the solutions will uh, consider um, equating IC and IE. Emitter here is common to both the base and the collector node. And the input is, is on the base junction while the output is on C. That is why it is called common emitter. And this is the common emitter characteristics. Uh, one thing to consider here is that um, the characteristic curves of the input versus the output of the common emitter configuration is different from the common base. The common base has, a, has only a, a straight line on the output side of the amplifier. While we have here the common emitter, uh, we can clearly see a slopes or a steeper slope across the output currents. If we use the common emitter, then we will have a larger gain on the um, amplifier operation of the BJT compared to the common base. And that is mainly because of the input being taken from the base and base only takes a little amount of current to operate. So a small input IB will have a large IC output. Thus, uh, having a steeper slope on its characteristic curve. Comparing it to the common base where the input is on the in the emitter, IC is on the emitter, and uh, IE is in the input rather, and the IC is the output. And take note that ICs and IE are approximated with each other.
So therefore, there are, there's no, there is not a lot of gain that we can get when using the common base. So if you will, if you were are designing an amplifier with a large gain, then we you should use a common emitter. So this is these are the uh, equation that relates all of the currents in the BJT. IE is equivalent to IC plus IB. And then this is the equation for the alpha. That's IC over IE. Another factor is the common emitter forward current amplification factor, and it's denoted by the letter beta. Beta is IC over IB. The value of beta is quite large because IC is a large current and the BJT while the IB is a small one. And that is why it has a range of 20 to 600. And, it, uh, and the beta differs uh, from the different model type of of transistor of bjt to be to be specific from uh, the equation of alpha which is ic over ie and a beta because of ic over ib we can get this relationship between alpha and beta and it is very useful whenever one is given and then we have to find an, uh, the other variable. Uh, take note that we are using the alpha on the common base while we are using the beta in the common emitter. And further simplification and manipulation of the equations will give us this relationship between the currents and the constants beta. Moving on to the last configuration, the basic configuration, we have the common collector. The collector is the one being common to both the base and the emitter, and it is not used as an output. The input here is still on the base, while the output is on the emitter. This is also very uh, capable of amplifying with a large gain because of its uh, design and configuration. It is evident on its characteristic curves that it has a high gain because there are steeper slopes on the outputs of the uh, common collector configuration, the same with the common emitter. And that is because the input is being taken on the base and the output is on the emitter. And lastly, uh, the factor is the gamma. It is the common collector forward current amplification factor and is equivalent to IE over IB. The power dissipation across the BJT are given uh, through these equations. For the common base uh, that is taken from the VCB over IC. So this is from the equation, P is equal to IV. So the output VC, VCB is multiplied to the output of IC. And similar to the common emitter and the common collector. I am Isagani Briones, and see you on the next lecture.